Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about outperforming the social media marketing competition. No, I don't waste no time. guys welcome back to the video and like i said in the introduction today we're going to be talking about the social media marketing competition and how you can outperform them and this was a requested uh, video by someone in the lifestyle design community which is my free facebook group where i basically uh, you know answer your questions that are relevant to social media marketing starting your own agency etc and i also have a free beginners course in there as well so if you have not checked that out and you are interested in social media marketing then uh, make sure you request access to the group and like i said in there there's a bunch of freebies to help you get started but anyway like i said this question is from the facebook group someone asked me you know how do you actually outperform the competition or how do you basically compete with all of the competition out there and to be fair in my opinion there isn't really competition out there yes more and more people are starting social media marketing but number one there are more businesses than there are marketers so you know even though yes more people are starting social media marketing and realizing the benefits of social media marketing there's enough for everyone to get a piece of the pie secondly not everyone that starts uh, social media marketing or starts their own agency actually continues with it okay you know some people do not have the guidance some people don't just don't have the discipline to put in the work some people don't actually want you know multiple clients they just want one or two clients and are happy with it you know uh, for example i know a guy that has literally got one client and he's happy with that if i ask him you know why not do outreach and get more clients he says because you know with this client he is able to pay his bills and um, you know he's got basically a long-standing relationship with his client so he knows that this client will not leave him and now he can just basically spend the rest of the summer chilling and working on other projects and that is fine as well so you know there's enough for everyone to get a piece of the pie you know even though there is competition if you will um it doesn't mean that you know it's saturated or that you can't actually get clients etc but you know let's just hypothetically speaking let's just pretend that yes you know it is a scarce market and uh, competition is fierce then the number one thing that i would highly recommend you guys do is to basically pump up those numbers with regards to outreach i see a lot of people doing um they call it lead sourcing or you know client sourcing or whatever you want to call it and they spend a while researching uh, the industry and researching you know potential clients etc you know getting uh, the name and telephone number of the ceo uh, doing background history into when they've run ads and stuff like that and that is great you know you need to definitely do your homework but what i would do is i would spend less time lead sourcing and more time actually reaching out to businesses and the way we do it uh, my method of outreach currently is basically automated email outreach so we have an entire system in place where we uh, reach out to up up to 500 businesses a, uh, a day every single day uh, with not every single day actually but the days that we do outreach uh, we reach out to up to 500 businesses we send uh, up to 500 emails um, on the days that we do outreach and then based on the response rates and based on the replies we get that is when we actually start customizing and doing our homework and lead sourcing if you will and with regards to lead sourcing all i do is literally look at the website um, have they got a facebook pixel are they running ads if it's an e-com store have they got the catalog installed what kind of ads are they running um, are they running the ads on all placements on the top of funnel and so on and so forth and then from there you know i will um depending on where they are on the flow i'll send them a loom or you know when i get them on a call i will explain what i can do for them but the home way i just want to quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that i have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my youtube channel so basically what i've done is i have created a custom audience with google ads uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where i basically give you the direct link to download this course so it's an unpublished link on teachable which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel so if you want a free social media marketing course all you need to do is subscribe to my channel 
and then you will see my advertisements. So without further ado, let's hop back into the video. A big part of it only comes when they do uh, when they reply to the outreach okay so i don't actually do my homework prior to that so it's like you're sending out a thousand emails uh, blind so you've got no idea uh, who you send those emails to and then when they reply you actually look and see if it's a good fit or not and if it isn't a good fit then you know it doesn't doesn't no harm done you know, you've sent an email they've replied and then you can just either end the conversation there you know uh, basically mark it as unqualified or send them an email saying, you know what, uh, on second, fourth, I don't actually see um, a lot of potential here. This is what I would do, and then just be on your way and leave it at that. Okay, so that is the number one thing that I would do uh, in a situation where competition is fierce, is basically, you know, pump up those outreach numbers and spend less time doing the lead sourcing. Okay, so second thing I would do, because now we've reached out to a bunch of businesses, we've decreased the amount of lead source, and we've got a bunch of replies, what I would then do is really hone in those sales skills, okay? So I'd really practice my sales, practice uh, my persuasion, and really just try and get to a point where I feel comfortable on these sales calls. Why? Because if you have all these qualified leads, you need to be able to sell them on your service. And let's say your conversion rate is one in 10, that means that nine qualified leads that were willing to get on a call with you that were interested in social media marketing are now out there looking for another business that they um, can trust more or that they feel more comfortable with. Because at the end of the day, you were the one that weren't able to close them or that they didn't feel comfortable with. So if you can increase your conversion rate and practice your sales skills even more, maybe get up to a 30 to 50% closing rate, then you know you will be able to get more clients and you know you will sort of outperform the competition in that way. Because if you have 10 leads and another agency has 10 leads, but your conversion rate is um, one in two and their conversion rate is one in 10, then you know you need to reach out to less businesses to actually get up to the six figure mark or the multi six figure mark. Okay, so like I said, lead sourcing, uh, less lead sourcing, more outreach, and then practice your sales skills. And then thirdly, probably the most important one actually is to get great results for your clients. So basically, what you want to do is keep that back door shut. So when clients come in through your your flow, you know, let's say you've got let's let's you know you've got a hypothetical store. Uh, people come in through the front door. They uh, look into your store, you, they purchase a few things, and what we basically want to do is to prevent them from leaving. For those of you that ever played Roller Coaster as a kid, Roller Coaster Tycoon, it's basically like a theme park um, game for the PC, I think it was, and absolutely loved that game. And basically, one of the goals was to get a certain amount of customers into your theme park. And at, well, at times, you know, we're there was a point where you know it was hard to get the amount of customers in. What I used to do is put a no entry sign by the entrance because the entrance was also the exit. So people could literally not go through through that back door. They couldn't leave the theme park, and that is how I sort of reached you know uh, my goals back then. Uh, for the, basically every single theme park had like a certain goal and mission that you had to accomplish, and that is basically how I achieved some of those goals. And that is basically what you need to do for your agency as well. You know, get clients in and basically. Do not give them a reason to leave. So get great results for them and make sure that that back door stays shut. Because if you do that, then you don't need to be doing all this outreach and uh, competing with all these competitors because you've already got the clients. And if you get great results for the clients that you've got, chances are they will refer you on to other clients and you'll possibly even get to a point where you no longer need to do outreach because all of your new clients come inbound through referrals or you know because you're, you've, you've, you're basically surrounded by uh, businesses that are extremely happy with your service and just basically refer you on to other businesses and other clients okay so that is all i've got for today short and sweet the three points like i said outreach uh, goes up lead sourcing goes down your sales skills need to be improved and you make sure that you get the best results possible for your clients so i hope you got something out of this leave a comment down below if you have another tip for those of you that um, you know, or basically worried about the competition, etc. Leave them all down below and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you all in the next video.